Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? Guys, you cut out the especially men. You go into settings, there's going to be a section in the app limits that gives you the ability to block certain websites. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna block hub.com mm -hmm. and whatever the, whatever the other sites are that people go at. It's such a beautiful thing when it pops up, this website is restricted. It's like, oh yeah, that's not something I do anymore. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high done woke us up today. Let's take this opportunity to be great. You know what I'm saying? It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. The sun is up. All of this damn snow is melting, man. So I can't even complain, man. So I'm going to go to this gym. And uh, listen, man, I'm going to put in some good work today because I feel good. You know, I didn't been productive all day. You know, I didn't been to the studio. You know, I didn't... Uh, you know, ran some errands, you know, just doing what needs to be done, bro. And I had my little road dog with me, you know what I'm saying? My little Twinkie with me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it always feel good to be up and at them, you know, especially on a nice day and taking advantage of the opportunity that we have. So, you know, make sure you getting out there, man, you know, for real, for real. But before y'all do, man, you know, shout out to Kerry Hobb for uh, posting that clip. And the, uh, and the brother that was uh, in there that was uh, sharing that message, man, because, you know, we got to do this shit by any means. However and whatever we got to do to stay away from that shit, we got to do it. We got to be willing to do it. And if you're not willing to go the extra mile to keep shit just out of your, out of your space, out of your energy, off your phone, out of your mind, then guess what, bro? You're not willing to take the next step. You know what I mean? You're not willing to take the next step in your elevation. If you can't, you know, get a, 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 a app that will block some of that shit. If you can't go on your Instagram and stop following certain chicks, you know what I'm saying? If you can't get off a certain social media, you know what I mean? That that, that, that constantly advertise that shit, you're not ready to take the next step. You know what I'm saying? Because I was willing to do whatever it takes. And I already told y'all, I had bookmarks. I had all types of shit, bro. All types of shit. Bookmarks, emails, favorite websites. You know, I had to unfollow thousands of models. You know, uh, you know, uh, websites. and uh, Well, not websites, but uh, people that I was following that would promote. You know, porn stars and, and, and ass shaking and twerking and all of that shit, bro. I had to go the extra mile because I was serious about my elevation. I was serious about change. And when you serious about change and you tired of living how you been living and you tired of underachieving, you tired of losing, you know, you tired of, you know, putting more self-inflicted wounds on your damn self, then guess what, bro? You gonna do whatever it takes. Trust me, you will do whatever it takes to get out of that space, to get out of that hole, to get out of that darkness, bro. You know, and then, you know, as you get further along in your journey, bro, it's not gonna really be nothing for you to unfollow people. Before, it, it I unfollow so many people and so many sites and all of that shit that it's just like crazy that... I used to find it hard to do. Like, as soon as I seen some ass, it was game over. I wasn't unfollowing shit. If anything, I was going to like, validate, comment, you know, do all of that simp shit, all that blue pill ass shit, all that pedestalizing shit. And then what men don't understand is that when you got all the time to do that shit, all you do is just lower your vibration while you do it. You know, when you all in them inboxes, them DMs, all you all you doing is making your confidence sink even lower, your vibration sink even lower. The more you validate and put these things before yourself. And that's what you do. But a lot of men don't realize that that's what they do when they getting these subscriptions, when they on OnlyFans, when they sitting there slobbing to these pictures, slobbing on these websites, wasting away their energy. Throwing they shit just out the window. Everything about they self go out the window. And that's why I tell you, bro, you can't trust motherfuckers like that. 
That's why you couldn't trust yourself. You couldn't do, you wouldn't do what you say. Your self-confidence was at an all-time low because you would be constantly lying to yourself and you couldn't trust yourself. You couldn't trust yourself, which was making it even more of a bad situation for you. You know what I mean? And that's why I say, when you experience that, you don't want to be around people that that you notice have these type of demons as well because it's like, yo, until they get that fixed, bro, until they until they start working on themselves and getting that in check, bro, like, listen, dog, they ain't gonna have no problem being around you and, and secretly hating on you, secretly being in competition with you, you know what I'm saying, lusting for your girl, the, the, the girl, you, you know what I mean, the love of your life, they could be around lusting for her, looking at her, they not gonna give a fuck because they always gonna put the flesh first, you know what I'm saying, and then that blood thicker than water shit go out of the window, quick as hell. So that's why I say, bro, you can't trust these motherfuckers that be having this demonic energy inside of them, that lustful energy inside of them, that Jezebel spirit inside of them, you know what I'm saying? Because these niggas out here could be succubus too. Y'all motherfuckers got the succubus spirit in you, so guess what? You're going you gonna to continue to suck the life out of not only yourself, but the people around you due to your addiction, due to your behavior, due to your lack of control. You know what I mean? So a lot of these motherfuckers be out here on the same succubus shit too. And you just can't trust them until they get that in order, bruh. You know what I mean? You can't trust them with nothing about you. Nothing that's going on in your life. You can't trust them around people that you care about. Damn near can't you. And it ain't no damn near. You can't trust them around your kids. You know, that's how deep that shit go, bro. You can't trust motherfuckers around your kids, especially these days. Especially when motherfuckers got that type of shit in them. I don't care how close you is. It could be a family member, a brother, a cousin, any of that shit. How many cases we done seen where a motherfucking family done did some shit to these motherfucking, to their own nieces and nephews and shit like that. You know, and I'm just keeping it 100 you know, you can't never put anything past anybody these days and especially people that you know that's out here with, with, with that lustful energy, with that lack of control because they'll do anything to get what they want. You know, but motherfuckers don't want to talk about that shit though. That shit gets swept right under the rug. And then the motherfuckers that be quick to sweep it under the rug don't be the ones that be believing their daughter when they tell them that somebody touched them. You know, uh, 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 when they tell them that, you know, uh, you know, somebody that they mama, you know, date and touch them, you know, and then the mama going to choose, you know, going to choose the man over them. How many times we done seen that? The mama choose the boyfriend because she lost. She lusted. So she don't want to she don't want to give up what she got going on. So it's just like it's just crazy, bro. So I'm just saying, like, we just got to continue to take the next step so we can get past this shit in our life because we seeing too many lives be destroyed by this shit. And it just feels good. Like, when you watch that clip, you, you know, how he even said that, like, oh, shit, you know, when you see so when you see that app block a website or whatever, or when you just reminded that you don't do that same shit that you used to do, you'd be like, nah, oh, oh, shit, I don't do that shit no more. And you really don't. You don't do that shit no more because you better than that. You know what I'm saying? You know you worth more than that. You know you value yourself more than that. So fuck no, nah, you don't do that shit no more. Motherfuckers be like, man, you taking that shit too serious. How? How? Oh, I, I, uh, oh, I take myself serious? Yeah, as I should. Oh, I take my energy serious? Yeah, as I should. Oh, I take my vibration serious? Yeah, as I should. Because I'm really trying to get somewhere in my life. And I want to stay close to the most high. And doing sh shit like that ain't go cut it. You know what I mean? Taking away from myself and devaluing myself ain't go cut it. You know what I mean? All that's going to do is keep me in darkness and keep those spirits around that I don't want. You know what I mean? That once had me. So how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah maybe you not taking life serious enough. Maybe you not taking those things serious enough. And that's why you looking at me like I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people look at you like you crazy because they don't take their own life serious as you do. 
So because they seeing you go to extreme measures to protect your energy, that looks absurd to them. That looks ridiculous to them. That looks crazy to them. You know, because that's out of their realm, see? But that just lets you know how high you elevate, how high your frequency is. You know what I'm saying? That's all that do is display that. You know, but shit ain't go look normal to motherfuckers that's all doing the same thing. That's what you got to understand, bro. When you doing something different from what the rest of the pack is doing, it looks crazy. It looks, it, 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 you know what I mean? But you got to embrace that. You got to embrace that. You know, when you think about, when you think about Cam, right? Early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was just graduating high school. Cam, you know, he come out with Purple Haze, you know, Diplomatic Immunity and all of that was out. And Cam rocking this pink, he rocking this purple, you know, and all that other shit. And people like, what the fuck is this motherfucker on? But Cam wore that shit. With so much swag, so much energy, and he was so different, you know, from what everybody else was wearing, which was the usual, you know, throwback jerseys around that time, the big jeans and shit like that, which he still wore the big jeans and shit too, but the bright colors that he wore was just different, and then now when you fast forward to today, you seeing big artists like Drake mimicking that. You know what I'm saying? And honoring that, paying homage to that because that was something so different and unique at that time that it's still being honored down the line years later. You know, we talking 20 years later, 22 years later, and motherfuckers still, you know what I mean, Show uh, paying homage and giving credit to where credit's due, giving Cam his flowers for having the audacity, having the balls, Having the fucking just, you know, fortitude to switch shit up and do things that he wanted to do. And that's you. That's why I say that we are trailblazers over here because we do shit that people not used to doing. But guess what? When they see you later on down the line like Cam, it's going to be motherfuckers that's going to see how you living that may have known what you was doing because you put it out there. You know what I mean? You know that they gonna be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, you know, they gonna they gonna salute. You know what I mean? You got some motherfuckers gonna hate. You got some motherfuckers that's gonna salute. You gonna have some motherfuckers be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have tried that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you did what you felt and what you knew was necessary for you to elevate and get to the next level. You know what I mean? You blazing that trail in your family, in your community. You know what I mean? And all of that shit, bro. So that's why I tell you, you, you got to continue to do that and keep that same energy, bro. Because it is our time. You know what I mean? We are here for a reason. So we have to keep going, bro. And we have to be willing to do whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? To get past that. And you do that when you value in yourself. You do that. By getting rid of things that may be triggers. You do that by staying away from websites. Staying away around from, from certain energies and certain environments that could possibly take you back to that lifestyle. And that's with anything. That's with anything. You know what I mean? It, it goes deeper than just pornography. That's with anything, bro. Because when you elevating, bro, it's no need for you to go back. There's no need for you to go to, 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 to go back and, and be around certain things that's only going to pull you down and remind you of what you used to do. You don't need that no more, bro. You moving full steam ahead like Thomas the motherfucking train out here. Do a motherfucking train look back? No. A train only go forward full steam ahead. Train no motherfucking got no time to look back. The train always on the track. The train always moving. The train has the momentum. And the train picking up gems everywhere it go. The train picking up speed everywhere it go. And the train going to get to the destination no matter what. And you got to be that train. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work?